Hello out there, you wonderful people. This is Andre, the Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear listening into another Why You Know Game video. And this one, I'm also going to apologize for being a little bit late because I couldn't decide on what I wanted to do again for, <laughs> for, for a Why You Know Game video until I got to checking out some stuff online and I was thinking about some of the games I had already played and beaten way back when. And uh, and one game that really sticks out to me, and like, and again, this is a Capcom title, and unfortunately, Capcom hasn't been doing very much with their titles, but um, it's called Beat Down Fist of Vengeance. I've talked about it multiple times on my channel already, but this time I'm going to be talking about a different perspective of that story, which would be Beat Down Fist of Justice. And now people will wonder why I wanted to rename it like that, but that's simply because, okay, Fist of Vengeance you are playing with basically a mobster character who, who's um, basically been betrayed and is on the run and trying to get revenge on the people that betrayed them, the family that they were working for and all that stuff. And there are five different characters that were betrayed. Um, I'm not gonna go through all of their names because I can't remember each and every one of them. I, I remember Raven and Jason the best because those were my favorite two to play with. Uh, <laughs> but um, over, Overall, the long run, the things the in the same during the same storyline, there's also a corrupted police department that works alongside the this criminal organization. So thinking about that, I'm looking at the perspective of going into playing with a like playing with a rookie cop. Like this is a character that you just create from scratch. Like so it would be a different perspective from what Fist of Vengeance was and the fact that Fist of Vengeance had established characters already for established storylines whereas fist of justice could be similar to that i mean especially in gameplay it would have to be because the gameplay in that game was freaking great for what it was i mean yeah it would definitely have to be tweaked and caught up to today's standards to make it more fluid and make it feel a little bit better but honestly the way the game was it was pretty damn good but fist of justice you could be the new rookie cop in town like you see shit going on and this is this is what they could give you the choice to follow the path of actually being a good being a good officer and fixing the issues within the police department, or they can give you the options to take the bribes from the, from <laughs> from the gang members and all that type of stuff, and then you can run into the characters from Fist of Vengeance, like you could run into Raven, Jason G. Uh, I can't remember the other three characters' names, so like, but you could run into them in in certain situations, um, <clears throat> which would actually like, which again would just connect both stories back and forth, and I think that would be pretty cool. Like where you could have the opportunity, where you can see their situation, and like, and they'll give you the opportunity to apprehend them and bring them in to, and arrest them and stuff, or you'd have the option to let them go and then later work alongside them. But like this, this. This that would be a plot point. I wouldn't make that necessarily a good or bad choice. It would just be a choice you have to make and something that you'd have to look forward to later on down the, the storyline. So the more of them you let go later on, <clears throat> the more of them that will more likely be there to help you out with the final battle in this game. Um, because it's like you try to get rid of the corrupted police, the police officers and shit but but you might have to actually you know partner up with the people that would be considered your enemies at the time so i mean it, it's it's a good dynamic to give and then you could think like i said you could think about a lot of different options and stuff like either way your your prime goal is the character in this story the main character in this story is to kind of just like take over the police department one way or the other by either reforming it or by becoming a new head honcho that's the head of the corrupt police department either way doesn't matter to me like it's just what i'm looking at and i'm thinking about like and it would be an interesting thing to play an interesting thing to actually have to do and i i think it would be great i honestly would like it like <laughs> and i don't think there'd be too many people who wouldn't with that style of game like and it, like and i would really love to see another game in this i would love to see another beatdown game come out but that that is just what I was thinking about and the things that rolled through my head once I saw it. I was like, that would actually be pretty cool. So, but that's it. Um, you guys can give me your thoughts and opinions down below. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear. Keep your eyes and ears off for more stuff from me. And until the very next time, please enjoy your games. And gosh, I can't get this thing to stop. <laughs> Peace out.